Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Andrea Martinez. And I'm Alex Finney. Here's a look at your top stories today. Police are investigating a shooting in Lauder Hill. Officers say a child was shot multiple times. It happened in the 5900 block of Northwest 21st Avenue. Officers are there investigating. The victim we know was taken to Broward Health and is said to be in surgery. We're going to continue to follow this developing story throughout the day. And this morning's shootings come as two cities in South Florida are holding separate walks for peace events intended to put an end to gun violence. One of those walks is happening now in Lauder Hill. The walk for peace started at the city of Lauder Hill Police Department and ended at City Hall. This event was also a chance to show support for victims of gun violence. A similar event was held in West Palm Beach. Deputies say a woman stole an ambulance with an employee still inside and crashed it twice. 34-year-old Sierra McGriff is facing multiple charges, including grand theft. Deputies say it all started just after one Friday afternoon near University Drive and McNabb Road in Tamarack. The employee who was still inside was able to get out safely before the woman crashed off Pine Island Road and then later crashed again into a tree in Sunrise. It's unclear why the woman stole the ambulance. And the Florida Panthers are gearing up for the start of the Stanley Cup final. Game one is tonight. The Cats flew out to Las Vegas after having their final practice in South Florida on Wednesday. This is their first appearance in the final since 1996. Local 10 will be there for all of the action on the ice when the puck drops for the game against the Golden Knights tonight at 8. And of course, as breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Just head over to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.